Hello friends, today I am going to give you an overview about Blazor. What is Blazor? The first question arises here that Blazor is a new framework from Microsoft for creating an interactive web applications without JavaScript, Angular, React, Viewer, etc. We all know that we have been creating our web applications since uh, more than a decade or I should say that since the start of internet using uh, JavaScript javascript as you all would know that first was introduced in 1995 and since then it's being used in different um, with the help of different frameworks and by the uh, introduction of angular react view things started changing developers started lear to learn various frameworks to interact with server from the client side and things became complicated for a developer, for a web developer, it was it's, it has become mandatory to learn C# -sharp for server side or Java or the Visual Basic for the server side scripting, and uh, <coughs> sorry, Angular, React, or Vue or any other framework uh, for the client side scripting. Or he at least must know uh, so sound. Uh, he should have sound knowledge of JavaScript, but without JavaScript or jQuery or any other client-side scripting language, a developer cannot make his application more interactive, um, very interactive. So here Blazor comes into action that we can now use C Sharp instead of JS in the browser by the help of web assemblies and other uh, frame, uh, other, uh, I should say, the mechanism of Signal R what they are how these applications work we are going to explain in this session let's head over to visual studio so this is my vs uh, let me explain you for that i'm going to use visual studio 2019 version 16.4 it is very important if you don't have visual studio 2019 16.4 i will recommend you first go and update your visual studio from the vs installer and you should have asp.net core 3.0 at least uh, for the blazer support so i'm going into new project and uh, i'll select blazer app i have already selected c sharp from here and web from my development environments project types okay so i'm going to select blazer app and clicking next this will be my very simple application blazer simple app Okay, uh, okay, create. So here I may have more templates, but, but that this, this is the default screen for uh, new, new installations of Visual Studio 2019 16.4. Here we have two options. We can create Blazor server apps or we can also create Blazor web assembly apps. But for that, I'll have to install uh, the template in my Visual Studio. For now, I'm going to create a Blazor server app and we are going to see the behavior of this application. Uh, let me remove this configure for HTTPS and I'm not going to use any authentication from here. You can see my .NET Core version 3.1.1 and I'm going to create. That's it. So here, uh, I'm, I'll not modify anything. We will first explore the default files, the default template. Here the, my project is created without modifying anything from Solution Explorer. Or I'm not going to do anything, I'm just going to run the application by clicking this IS Express button from here. On top, as you can notice here, the project has started building. Uh, VS is compiling my project and it will open in. Chrome or IE, whatever browser you have in your PC. So here it is. Here is my first Blazor application. Here goes the title that uh, I selected for my application and this is the first page. There are few things to note over here. When I will navigate between the pages, there is no full page refresh. You will not notice a page refresh over here but the URL is changing I'm on the home page if I go on to the counter see the URL over here as well URL is changing okay 
if I uh, go to fetch data okay the page is changed but there is no complete refresh if I come into inspect element and I come into the network tab you will not notice any new request to the server but yes the data is being fetched and signal R is a mechanism used at the back end to get the new data from the server we will learn about all th those things later in our session but for here it is important to understand the behavior of blazor application okay this is a button and i'm going to uh, click this button the counter is increasing but now you might think that it is javascript because there is no refresh of page and there is no uh, request on the network let's close this browser and come into our application come into this counter page from our pages folder this is the counter dot rather page that we were on and this is our button simple structure of html and c sharp is used inside our html with the help of css there is no css used over here but we can definitely use the css for the styling but here you can see the classes that we are calling for the styling purpose okay on click but this is server side on click function but executing on client side this is not javascript's on click it is c sharp's on click as you can see the help from here right and the increment function that as in the same way as we call javascript function and this is increment count okay so if i modify no this is not javascript it is c sharp Current count plus equals to 3. I have modified my code and now we will run it. Okay. I am changing the current count value to 2. Okay. This current count is displayed over here and on the click of this button, this function is called here and this variable. At this place is incremented by a 3 on every new click. Let's run this application again and notice its behavior. Okay, come into the counter page. Default value I had set 2 from the from my C sharp, like here. And when I click, it has become 5 with the increment of 3. When I click again, it has become 8. Okay, and on every click, there's an increment of 3. So, the cool thing over here, the best thing over here, I don't have to use JavaScript. It's not necessary for me to use JavaScript on all places. This is only C sharp. So this was the behavior that we have to we had to note in our first session of Blazor application development. In the latter sessions, in the next section, I will be discussing the program structure, the project structure, the execution of program, how a Blazor application is working, what is the purpose of this startup file, what is app.blazor file doing, and the project files structure. Uh, we will. Uh, understand in later sessions okay simple so that's it for this session thank you very much if you haven't subscribed my channel subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon thank you